So, here I am with another shitty webcam video. I want to read an article to you. Well, it's not really an article, it's more of an interview. And I'll provide a link for it in the description of this video. It's called The Official Word on Brock vs. Hunter. So for those of you still reeling from Hunter being the champion, I managed to get in touch with Doc Hammer to get his thoughts on the matter. You say, I was kind of surprised, but then I started thinking that maybe that was an accurate result. I mean, Hunter is old and not as strong, but he did teach Brock everything he knows. What do you think? Doc Hammer's reply was, in a hand-to-hand -hand fight, let's work it out. Let's say that Hunter taught Brock everything he knows. That doesn't state that Hunter taught Brock the entirety of Brock's knowledge. It actually implies that Hunter passed on to Brock all that Hunter knows about fighting. I'm going to have to disagree with him here. I like to think that Hunter was smart enough to hold back certain techniques, certain tactics. The man's a fucking genius when it comes to shit like this. And I know that he's smart enough to have something, some secret that he tells nobody except people that he kills shortly after he does it. This puts them, at this point, as equals in skill, and doesn't give Hunter the advantage. Let's take it farther. In fact, it implies that Hunter has less knowledge, because Brock, according to your argument, did not share his tricks with Hunter. That shared knowledge will be assigned the metalinguistic variable Y. E will stand for all of the knowledge Brock acquired from other sources. We can't forget that Brock created Blood Judo. A will be the experience and skills acquired being a bodyguard to a guild-arched super-scientist that can't defend himself and finds trouble under every bed. The variable H will represent the fact that Brock is larger, younger, and, a more, freshly and more freshly practiced as a hand-to-hand -hand killer. So in a stripped-to-the-waist, man-punching man situation, the math would be Brock equals Y plus E plus A plus H. Hunter equals bad knees. Brock would take the fight easily on a regular day. Fine, yes, there is that off chance that Hunter would get in a lucky and dirty stab to the eyes and possibly take Brock down from, from there with his G. Gordon Liddy bullshit. But in the simplistic tournament thing you have here, Brock, I really think the voters are fucking with you. Doc Hammer doesn't know what he's fucking talking about. Let's go back to what I mentioned earlier. Hunter's a fucking master tactician. And there's bound to be something, some secret that he kept behind. Add to that, Hunter was still an experienced killer. A very experienced killer, while Brock was still wet behind the ears. Sure, Brock continued to learn, but do you mean to tell me that Hunter didn't? Hunter, in 20 years, in 20 years, an old dog can still learn plenty of fresh tricks.